What's up everybody, my name is Jason and welcome to Small Biz in today's video. We're gonna talk about why I just took a 47% profit in one of the best Bitcoin miners under $2 a share. Which means the obvious question of this day is, is the crypto run over or did I just find something better? All that and more coming right up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Happy Monday to you. I've got a special announcement before we cover WULF. Pulled the ripcord 185, last trade 185 on the nose. I'll explain why that is, maybe give you a clue as to what we just bought. But for the first time in 19 years, I'm going on vacation. Yes, I have not been on a vacation since I went to the Ritz Carlton in Naples, Florida in 2005. The crash of 2007 and 8 wiped my ass out. I've spoken about it before. I'll talk about it again some other time. I officially went bankrupt, lost everything, landed on a forklift not too far from here for nine bucks an hour, loading craftsman wrenches onto a fucking pallet. So I am living proof that it's never too late to come back from the dead. But I'm going somewhere way south of the border. I'm going to be on location for at least a week. And I'm taking you with me. Best of all, I'm not going to share it on YouTube or anywhere else for a number of reasons. But I'll have the killer German Shepherd, not mine, but my neighbors, guard the door. But all of it's going to be inside of the Discord. So if you want to make money, the kind of money where whales are knocking down 100 Gs a month and paying me 50 bucks, go to trysmallbiz.com. Get a premium if you got a small business. Discord, if you don't, that's trysmallbiz.com. I cannot tell you how excited I am. I'm renewing my passport this week. It'll be here in the next week to 10 days because I had it expedited. And uh, I've never been where I'm going. And I hope you're going to have uh, a chance to come along with me. Once again, if you're new, it's trysmallbiz.com. We have a lot of fun. We're closing in on 400 people, salt to the earth from all over the world, and we're making money. So the obvious question is, why did I sell Wolf? Jason, don't you think crypto is going a lot higher than 43000 Answer, yes. But we're right in the middle of the range of the last month or two, right? 38000 to keep it simple on the downside, which we hit last week. Forty-eight and change on the upside. 43.2, when I pulled the ripcord, is right in the middle. And as I shared in a number of graphs inside of the Discord, we could go either way, so flip a coin. And I think because the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ, the QQQ, are in nosebleed territory, we're way overbought and have been way overbought now for over a week and a half on the RSI, the MACD, and the Stochastics. So in this crazy world that we live in, trying to start a proxy war with some other country that you're probably aware of in the Middle East, anything can happen. And it might send crypto northward. But when I have a 47% profit and I nailed that motherfucker to the penny at 124 and I got a chance to get myself, you, and the whales out in the mid-180s for a 47% profit, you're damn right I'm going to take it. What goes through my mind during a time like this is not only that we have even, even odds to go up or down in terms of Bitcoin and Wolf and all the miners are going to uh, trade in sync with that. Wolf was way outperforming. Crypto Bitcoin was up 12% from the most recent low at 38 change. Wolf was up 50% when it hit 193 this morning. It was up twice as much as Riot, Mara, Hut, and virtually every uh, one of the others because they have the best margins for all the small cap miners. So I'm not going to miss an opportunity to lock in close to 50% in less than two weeks, especially when I have an idea, and many of you have made money in this thing not once but soon to be twice, in a biotech stock that's been trading from 16 to a quarter in the pre-market this morning, 16 to a quarter, 16 to a fucking quarter. So when I saw it coming back down after being up near a quarter early on, 22 cents and change at the 7 a.m. mark here in Atlanta, I said, I want to get in. So those of you that cashed out at 21 and a half, 22 on Friday, we're all back in at 163, 165 or thereabouts and change. Now it's trading 176. 
I don't have a full position. I am not going to trade it. If it's going to go back to a quarter with me only having a half a position, that's fine. And before I forget, shout out to the gentleman who asked me in the Discord a few minutes ago. We've got a stock that we're down about 30% on. I said don't buy any more of it when it broke through a dollar. What was green became yellow and is now a red. Why? Lousy price action, and it's coming down on great news. Their earnings, the takeover, the acquisition, fantastic news. It gaps up. It gets smashed down. I said to everyone, as I've said many, many times before, when we have lousy price action or an all-time low in the case of this one biotech, I'm not buying anymore until we get at least a 10% plus reactionary bounce from the all-time low. So you might be right if you're in there buying it at 70 cents. I'm in there with a half position. I didn't average down at a dollar 90, 80, not 70, because it might go to 50. And if the motherfucker bounces anywhere to a dollar in small change, I'm pulling the ripcord with a tiny loss. And you might be standing on my grave saying, oh, it was right to average down. No, I have learned the hard way over the course of the last 30 years that you do not have to average down. You do not always have to throw good money after bad. I can give you two stocks that start with M that anyone that was playing that game over the last two years has been decimated. They've lost over 99% of their money. I have finally gotten to in the last four or five years a position where I can say that's enough until I start to see this thing come to life as the stock did and it became green once again and it's going a hell of a lot motherfucking higher shame on those that sold it at 12 and a half and you know what I'm talking about but I don't have to average down I'm okay saying there's my loss what have I told you in closing nonstop for the last several months 80 to 90 percent of the time more so in the latter, I'm going to be right. 10 to, let's say, max 20% of the time, I'm going to be wrong. So this one stock that's down 30% that starts with E as in Edward has already told me I'm the loser. I'm the one. I'm the one out of six or seven core holdings that we have that's probably going to be a loss. So I'm done. I am not adding any more until it shows me something. And if it doesn't show me something and I end up having to sell it lower than it is right now, you think that's going to stop us? You think that's going to prevent me from finding the next 47% winner? We've got four or five of them right fucking now in the core holdings, two or three of which are ready to... So until next time, I'm going on vacation. Always remember that I love you and I'm taking you with me and I'll, I'll see you next time. I'm so excited. I don't even know how to end the fucking videos anymore.